Hi guys, today we're going to have a look at the Mad Max style paracord bracelet and the problem with these ones is that after a while they tend to get a little bit loose. Today we're going to tie it so that it will always stay firmly in place after you've adjusted it. This one is going to make a bracelet that is around about 8 inches or 20 centimeters and I'm using two pieces of paracord. One is a meter or around about 40 inches and the other piece is 180 centimeters or around about 6 feet. And I will start off with the smaller piece and I've already found the center here. And I just want to tie a diamond knot. So I'll do that by placing it over my middle finger. I'll take this right hand strand and I'll just wrap it around my thumb, pinch it off where it crosses, and then rotate it a half twist away from me. And I'm just gonna hold that there with my left thumb. I'm going to reach under this strand here, pull the other strand through, and I want to weave it through this center here. So I'll just pull up that center and I'm going to go over, under, and then over. And I can pull that all the way through and you should end up with this kind of shape here. Notice one strand goes up to the top right and the other strand comes down here to the bottom left. This left hand strand I'm going to take right around, around this leg that's running through the finger, so the back side of that leg, and then up through the center of the knot. Then I'll take this other strand right around around the opposite leg that's running around the finger and then up through the center from the bottom side. And now we can take this off of our finger and pull our knot and we can just start taking the slack out of this knot. So we start at one side and start taking slack through. And then when you get to the loop here, you just want to close that loop down about halfway. and then continue going through the rest of the knot. So once you've pulled slack through one way, you'll notice that one of your legs should be longer than the other one. So start at your longer leg and we're going to pull slack through the other way through the knot. I've already done half of it. And when you get to the loop, just insert your two legs through that loop and then close this knot all the way down and get it quite tight and then pull slack the rest of the way through. So we should end up here with our diamond knot and we want this top loop to be closed quite tightly against these two extra strands just so there's quite a bit of friction or resistance as you pull them through that loop. And now we can adjust these two loops down the bottom here. Just adjust them till they slide over your hand nicely and that the two loops are the same size. And then we can tie a overhand knot with these two extra strands just so it butts up against this diamond knot. So the way we do that is just to form a loop and then we will tuck our ends up through that loop. And then when we tighten this overhand knot, 
just tighten it so it sits right up against this diamond knot. So we'll tighten this up and then cut these excess strands off here. So I've cut and singed the ends off of this overhand knot and we should end up with this, our diamond knot, and then these two strands here and our stopper knot. And now we can start tying our cobra knot around these two core strands. So we can take our other piece and find the center here. And then we'll start at the diamond knot end. So where the diamond knot is, place that cord underneath and then we can start tying our cobra knots and to do that we will take our left strand over those two core strands our right strand over that one and then we're going to come behind and up through that left loop and we'll just tighten that down right against that top knot here and then we alternate between the left and the right strand. So we're going to start with our right strand this time. Over the core strands. This one, over that one. And then behind and up through that right loop. Again, tighten it down. And again, we're alternating between the left and the right. So the left strand will come across the center, this right one over that, and then that one behind and through the left loop. And then again, we'll start with our right strand across the center, left over that, and then behind and through the right loop. And we just need to repeat that knot all the way around until it fits our wrist nicely. So just alternate between the left and the right as you tie your knot around the rest of the bracelet. So as you tie, you can measure this out against your own wrist and keep tying until there's just a slight gap here between the end of the cobra knot and your diamond knot. And then you can finish this bracelet off just by cutting off these excess pieces here and then singeing them off with a lighter. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Cut off that excess. Singe it with the lighter and then just press the end in to flatten it out. Just with the edge of the lighter. And the other side. So here's the finished bracelet and you should find that as long as you've tightened this top loop of the diamond knot sufficiently that this adjustable bracelet should stay firmly in place. Please share this video because that allows me to keep creating content for you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.